Jermiko Shoshana's design for Fashion Next is based on Charles James' evening gown called the Butterfly. She's reinterpreted this gown in Brentano fabrics by taking the fabric and cutting it into small individual strips and has stitched them to an underlining in a stepped fashion, falling all the way from the bust to the hem. One of the really interesting things about this design is the back, sort of a surprise in the back, where those individual strips that are stitched around the body are let loose once they hit the center back seam. And the center back seam falls into long strips, some of them are many feet long, that create a train or a bustled effect. What she's done to enhance this is inserted individual wires into many of those strips and so the wearer can take those wires and bend them into whatever shape to enhance the center back section. What I feel about Jermiko's designs, I think that she had quite a, an interesting approach to the way that she used the fabrics and it was very fresh and to think that she could do quite a bit with the um, interior fabric and, and how she used it was pretty amazing. I feel it was a very, very energetic kind of interpretation of the fabric. Still remaining feminine and uh, used the color very well too in grading the, the different grays into the sheer. The Melissa Serpico evening gown is uh, fantastic in how it really shows the connections with the Comme des Garçons uh, evening gown in Chic Chicago. The convertible aspect I think is, is stunning. You don't know it at first that this evening gown that has this long train on the back can actually be converted into more of a cocktail length. When you siphon through all of the pleats toward the hem of the gown, there are two large armholes. And so you can wear it very long or you grab the hem and you pull those armholes uh, through your arms. And what that does is turn it into sort of a balloon-like uh, cocktail dress. And I think that so perfectly illustrates the connection with the Comme des Garcons, but it also beautifully illustrates the design aesthetic that Melissa Serpico is known for. chose the most difficult um, gown as her inspiration. Um, the Comme de Carson is kind of like is um, definitely not a gown for everybody's tastes. And I think what she managed to do is, while keeping the kind of like the conversion theme going, translate that into something very feminine um, and much more kind of like, you know, wearable for more women than necessarily the Comme de Carson was. I like the Price Walton design that they created based on the Charles Frederick Worth evening gown because it has some really interesting qualities in the skirt construction as well as in the blouse construction. The skirt uh, can either be worn as a full length evening gown all the way to the floor, but if you look on the inside there's some really cool pieces where there's panels of fabric that are hanging down. On those panels there are buttons and button holes so the wearer has the opportunity of changing the skirt uh, every time that she wears it. But the part that I like about the Price Walton design the most is the jacket. The heavily pleated sleeves are done in such a way that blows my mind of the amount of time that obviously went into the construction. They had to have put each individual seam under the sewing machine three times in order to finish it this way. It, it blew me away to see that kind of construction going on this piece. So when the wearer has this piece on, those pleats are going to move and open and close when she is uh, pulling her arms close towards her, putting her arms down. And I think that sort of movement matches perfectly with the original design aesthetic that Charles Frederick Worth wanted in his 1880s evening gown. <laughs> Um, 
I feel that Price Walton's designs were very sophisticated and um, very clean, cleanly finished, clean edged, um, very geometric in terms of form and shape and uh, the way they use the patterning of the corded fabric. Uh, and, and it translated into the sheer seaming detail that was used in the jacket that was on top. The coordination of the very light sheer fabric on the top and the more, um, the heavier diagonal kind of design that followed on the bottom on the skirt complemented each other very well. I think it was weighted well in, in the way the two came together. Chicago has a rich and diverse cultural landscape. And tonight, I think we can safely say that New York had better watch out because Chicago designers are further staking their claim in the world of couture. not keep the designers in suspense any longer and without further ado now that I have the envelope <laughs> the winner of fashion next is Price Walton <laughs> Fashion was very inspirational, considering that it was all drapery or upholstery fabric. Uh, it was really impressive what the designers did. Actually, for me, it was Jermico. Um, I really liked the wiring and, and the idea that nothing was stitched. Um, she said that it was all tacked together at the end, and then they added wire. Um, I think that it really showed off. Uh, the, the, the upholstery, the design. I actually liked the winner, I'm happy to say. Um, they were all beautiful, but I also was trying to picture which one I might wear. And I gravitated toward that. Roger Price on Tommy Walton's gown was extraordinary. Yeah. Absolutely extraordinary. Absolutely. Bottom line, amazing fabric, amazing design. They uh, couldn't have done a better job. I think that we had formidable competition. Jermiko Shoshana is well known in Chicago, and Melissa Serpico is one of the new young mavericks of design. She, in fact, was one of my students 10 years ago. So <laughs> I am very thrilled to have been involved in this competition with the likes of those two. I just, I don't know what to say. They really were someone who could give us a run for our money, and it also inspired us to do our very best. 